Do you really think that Baki can win? The great fighter Sea King Retsu was defeated. The reborn Katsumi Orochi was crushed. Even the beast Jack Hammer was beaten. If those three couldn't beat him, then I'm not sure how Baki would- Listen, old man. There's one thing Baki's got that the other three haven't got. As everyone knows, my blood runs through his veins. Good grief, your ego is amazing. You took my slaps as an insult, and it got you mad enough to want to fight. For the first time since you were born, you weren't fighting out of hunger. You were fighting out of pride. Yes, the battle has begun. Baki Hanma versus the champion of the Age of Dinosaurs. I think Baki is trying to teach him that fighting is more than just a means for hunting and eating. He's teaching Pickle that there are times like now when you have to fight to defend your pride. Kill or be killed? No, it's not about that. We're just fighting, Pickle. Not trying to kill each other. See, not every fight has to be a fight to the death. They're too high. That's a fall of nearly 70. No, of nearly 100 feet. Uh oh, here comes the ground. Pickle, maybe, but for Baki to still be on his feet after a fall from that height. Is Baki Hanma really that tough of a warrior? Is he even conscious? It's crushing my lungs. Which explains why I'm barely able to suck in any oxygen. Metallic smell. That's blood. I feel like I want to fall to my knees. Laps on the ground. It's like my legs are holding up a giant rock. No matter how tough Baki is, there's no way he wasn't hurt. I'm surprised he can even stand. I have gone too far. I treated this plaything too roughly. Please get better. The humiliation of seeing his opponent pray for him was too much for the young man, and so his pride took over. Don't you fucking pray! Stupid son of a bitch! What? I can't bear to watch. They're not dangerous. Everyone's afraid of them. But you're perfectly safe when I use them like this. You bastard. They had hit him where it hurts the most. In his pride. Hold on. What's he doing? You fool. It's suicide! <clears throat> I know you've been around longer than me. But I don't need your pity, old man. What is Baki doing? There's no way he could have recovered. Ah, pickles down! <gasps> is he doing what I think he's doing? Baki, my boy, you're a born genius. That's what hell feels like, Pickle. At this point, it's no longer a question of looking for an opponent's weak spots. It doesn't matter whether you're a child or the unconquerable Kaoru Hanayama. The intensity of the pain will be the same. I've never seen Pickle in such a defensive posture before. Baki's attack stung him badly, but it stung his pride even more. Kokeken? Yosuken? Toroken? Saruken? Yushoken? Genius. But I hope you haven't forgotten, Baki. Of all those beasts you've so perfectly emulated, there's not one of them that wouldn't be prey for Pickle. Enormous. <gasps> no, it can't be. Triceratops! It's incredible. I'd have never believed it if I hadn't seen it myself. Woo! It's a flying bird! Is that what he's doing? Woo! That's a T-Rex! In Pickle's eyes, he had been utterly transformed into the mightiest beasts that roamed the Earth. He had never seen a monster like this. 
Genius is the only word to describe how he's fought so far. Understandably, he mistook the pain he felt as coming from a T-Rex attack. The time it took for him to make contact with Bucky Hanma was less than a second. I thought, I'm seeing the end of this fight right here. At that point, what really surprised me was that Baki stood his ground. He didn't even try to dodge. He took the full force of the attack. It was Pickle who was sent flying. All that Baki had done was flick his hand, like shooing away a fly. And yet somehow a man who weighs more than 450 pounds was sent flying up into the rafters by someone half his size with a flick of the wrist. You're one tough bastard. I peed in eight different spots. I've marked this arena as my territory. The audacity! <laughs> Let's finish this thing man to man. I want to do it this way at least once. Yes! Oh, oh man. You really are strong, aren't you? Biscuit Oliver. Now that's something I'd love to see. That would be a fight for all ages. What about his? The ogres. You know, I bet they'd even use the same stance. But that's not it. That's not what I'm really interested in. What I want to see, what would Baki Hanma do? I've lived for 18 years. I have lived to win, to be the best. And I have followed in the footsteps of the most powerful being on Earth. He wasn't just fighting anymore. It was more like he was performing a dance. This was speed beyond speed. Incredible. To think that Baki's fighting abilities have reached this level. Could any of those giants have done what Baki has done? It penetrated deep. The pain. Just as he had thought. Even worse than he had thought. Not only is that caveman gonna get back up, but I think Baki's really made his blood boil now. We're finally here. It's been a long, hard battle. Now comes the war. This is his final form. We never imagined that such a thing was even possible. Wounds. Looks like he was shot with a machine gun. There is only one thing it could mean. Pickle was a man who had survived the jaws of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. We all simultaneously began to applaud. He transformed into full battle mode. So now we can really get down to business. This is when the real battle begins, right? <laughs> I'm touched, Pickle. He should have been sent flying by Pickle's blow, but he's barely budged. So, if that's the case, how can I even fight you? My moves. I've endured pain, honed my body, nourished myself, faced challenges, and fought. Awakened to his own history, he was now able to see Pickle's history as well. What is it he's seen? It's all out war. He's cornered Pickle! His strength advantage wasn't working. I can't even see him! I told you. I'm staying right here. I'm not going anywhere. Bucky was on the verge of victory. As glory fell within his reach, a bad habit was born. It was a reckless act of insatiable greed on the young man's part. During the course of this contest, he had sensed his own fear, the fear of losing to this modern man. Their battle was over. <laughs>